Did you see the day that these two guys had against one another at the friendly confines yesterday afternoon? Memorial Day party between Javi Baez and Fernando Tatis Jr. One one upping the other two homers for Baez Tatis got one Sick. and they really put on yeah, a show. Welcome back with Cliff Floyd Dave Valley Matt Vasquez and Lex Dat with us as well. That night that day that those two guys had yesterday got us to thinking and we were doing this off air talking about who the best shortstops are in baseball. So we thought we'd have this exercise in front of you, the TV audience, and put all 30 shortstops up on a big board. And Dave and Cliff, you guys can draft. And here are the rules. Everybody has the same payday, right? We're not talking about a guy you'd build your team around. We're talking about the shortstops that you want right now if the goal is to build a roster and win a World Series. And everybody has the same. Everybody's playing for a dollar okay. on this board. So you're just the dude you want to win. And no injuries, first. right? No injuries, right. That's why we got Seeger on there. I, would, I got to the studio first. So I get to pick first. All right, you get to go first. And those are the only parameters, right? <laughs> we got hurt guys on there. This Assume everybody's healthy and assume everybody makes the same scratch. So I'm going with probably First the pick. most the excited most exciting player in the game of baseball right now is Fernando Tatis Jr. Not a surprise. All right, so you got Tatis Jr. off the board on your side, Val. That's the first overall pick of the shortstop draft. There's nothing not to like. I mean, the, the stolen bases are there. The defense is there. He hits for power. And he can do splits. I mean, come on. He's done splits a ton this year, too, man. All right. Yeah. All right, Cliff, who's know, your number one pick in the shortstop? I know y'all about to look at me funny, but please don't, all right? Trey Turner. Trey Turner is my guy. I like him. <clears throat> and, you, and you think about what he does. I know you just think about him, but you got here first, so you wanted to go first. <laughs> so I got Trey Turner, and what it, for me, he's leaning the league, stolen bases. The power is coming back. You watch what this guy does daily, defensively and offensively. I just think that, you know, he don't get a lot of love. He sort of gets overshadowed a little bit. But he is a star. Well, and part of that is because we hear so much about the shortstop free agent class. Yes. He's not in that group yet, so he's not getting the love that the other guys might. All right, first two are off the board. Val, second round, who's your next shortstop? Yeah, he, su he surprised me there. I know. Uh, uh, I'm going to go Corey Seager. I think we saw what he was capable of doing last year in the playoffs, World Series. This is a guy who can hit the ball out of the ballpark. When he's healthy, he covers the, the field out there. And for the Dodgers, remember he came in, took, was it a Jimmy, Jimmy Rollins spot, right? Came up as a rookie in September. Got off to a great start. This is just, to me, one of the young superstars in the game. All right, Corey Seager is the third shortstop off the board. Val's putting together a juggernaut already, Cliff. Yeah. You got some pressure on you. I'm not really tripping, though, because I think <laughs> when this guy comes back, and I know a lot of people have sort of, you know, went side, sort of, went sideways a little bit on Francisco Lindor but I feel like once he starts balling and he will he's human and you come to New York you want to shine I don't care if there's no fans in the stands or not his at bats lately have looked good don't look at the average look what he's done the last few years we're talking about the best in the game I know I know matter you got a little grimace on your face I know you want to go somewhere else on this board but Francisco Lindor has to be that guy when I look at that I'm thinking this guy is coming. Now, you can say two months he probably shouldn't be where he's at, and he knows that. But as far as the player and what he brings to the game. Okay. He, hey, he, this, he's, it's he's a subjective there. exercise, yeah. but you're, you're passing up. You're, here, hey, hey, this hey, is hey. where I got a problem. You passing this mm -hmm. guy? You're but you can't. Maddie, this guy? Maddie we, got a, we, got, we got three more. Maybe right, you give okay, him maybe you can sneak him in there. All right. Val? So I'm going to go with the X-Man, Xander oh, Bogart. Gone. You weren't yeah. going there, bro. I yes, know. I was. I got my list right here. I came prepared. Are you kidding me? This is a guy I think always gets overlooked, right? Uh, the, the analytical numbers defensively don't really give, do, give him real justice. But offensively, this guy is a force. He, ever since he came on the scene in the big leagues, incredible approach at the plate, and he does damage. Man. That's a good one. I like that one. Still right a lot there. out there for you, Cliff. You, yeah, it oh, you is. You can't go Trevor, wrong. You know what? You wait, wrong. Can I, just for a sec, just okay. I pulled my mic cord out. Just for a sec, there's some sleepers on there too. Oh, absolutely. There's a couple oh, yeah. sleepers oh, out yeah. there. I mean, I look all around this list and look. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this cat who's come back and been. I mean, he's in the ball out the ballpark. I'm not. I can't show him my picks though, because I know he's over there trying to figure out what's next. But <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Marcus Simeon. 
I think Marcus Simeon is my is, is because a guy. he's going to be a shortstop next year. Well, is he that is, why? and and the versatility plays as far as just being able to go over there. And we talked about Marcus Simeon early in his career where he had trouble with the leather. But I think what he's doing in Toronto, the fact that he runs the bases as, as well as he does, all the things he brings to the table, I think he's just a stud of a player, and he's figured out some things, made some adjustments with, with you know his 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 bat he uses consistently. So Marcus Simeon is my dude. Leads the American League with 62 hits. We're into the uh, fourth uh, this, round. This really is out. not easy. I know it's not. This That's the whole easy. idea. No. Look at what's out there still. Trevor Story's Trevor out Story. there still. Yeah. Uh, who Bias. else pops off the screen? Correa. Bo Bichette. Uh, JP. Uh, uh, Brandon Crawford's having the best year of his career. By he's going to be probably the best deal in the free agency next winter. Okay. Everyone's talking about all these other guys. Okay. He's going to be one. Dansby's but he's not my guy. He's right, not my guy? guy. I'm going to go with uh, El Mago, Javi Baez. Okay. I mean, this is a guy who can just do everything out there on the field. Uh, he's come back. Last year was a really down year, 2020 for him. But this season, he's swinging the bat again. One of the top defenders at shortstop on that whole board right there. If his stock dropped last year, I think we could all diagnose it and write it off to the fact that there was nobody in the ballpark. This is a guy that feeds off the energy yeah, of the does. moment, and yeah. there was none to be had last year. Yeah, you saw yesterday when he hit a ball 450 feet into the camera well, and the fans stood up, me and, and DV was sitting yeah. there going, oh, man, they, yeah. back in the, they back in, and uh -huh. he's feeling it, right, pumping his chest. And we're going to show it to you right now. I mean, I was thinking, we was like, man, I mean, they are full in the stands. We didn't know that the fans was full capacity. Boom! And then when that when, when you heard that electric in there, it was just like, wow. Now you played there. How many people go up there where he just hit it? I've only seen Sammy do it. Amazing. That's wow. It. wow. That's it. Yeah, yeah he hit two yesterday. He hit two. We'll show you the second one just for posterity's sake. Oh. This was kind of yeah, like that almost. Anything right. you can do, I can do better, Fernando. Look yeah. At that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ten, Ten rows yeah. deep. You know, I mean that that was. All right. So where are we? Him. Where are we in the draft now? Did Baez is off the board for Val. Did you take Baez? I took Baez. Yes. Okay, so Cliff, your fourth round shortstop. Um, see, this is tough right here because I'm 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 stuck between Trevor and this guy right Correa here. Correa and uh, don't sleep on Adamas. I can't. Dansby Swanson still up there. Adamas is kind that of dude too. Kind of Falefa. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm just gonna throw Carlos Correa in there. All right. I am. I, you know, when, when you think about what he's done in the clutch. Uh, 17 career postseason homes. That in itself is incredible. When you look at the, you know, how young he still is. The one thing, obviously, is we need to see him more, and that's just part of the game. The injuries have to be real for us. Really understand that he should be in that top one, two of our draft. But Carlos Carrera, uh, and okay. he's starting to swing the bat right now. You're seeing that little, you know, that little quick A to B. You know, swing, get into that baseball, and, and, and knock some balls yeah, it, out of the park. Again, it's right now. It's win right now. Yeah. So Correa. So here's your final, your final selection, Val. Your fifth round shortstop. So right now, I can hear my office mate Dan O'Dowd going, "Are you kidding me? You haven't picked Trevor Story oh, no. yet, Dan? I got him now. I'm gonna go with Trevor Story. <laughs> 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 Trevor Story uh, again, one of the top shortstops in the game. I mean, we, we're saying this about all these guys because. They can all do every part of the game, defensively, offensively. The thing I like about Story is he's been healthy. He, he takes the field day in and day out. He's been uh, very, very stable. He's going to have a, a phenomenal offseason. You know, the thing with him, too, is that he gets written off as being a course field guy. You don't realize until you watch him play for long chunks of time how good he is defensively. Absolutely. Right. Really good overall player. I'm with you on that. All right, last pick of the draft, Cliff. This is tough, man. Uh, I love Bo Bichette. I got a chance to talk to him a couple of years ago with 30 for 30, Matty. Kid is incredible. I got to show Brandon Crawford some love, man. Okay. I don't care if that he's 35. I don't care. But for me, what he's doing right now in his walk year is, is exactly what you want to do. If you're a player of his caliber that understands that you want to make some changes, guess what, I need to pull the ball more, that's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to pull the ball and hit the ball at the ballpark. And you can still flash some, you know, that, that leather over there at shortstop. So that's never been an issue. But getting him back to hitting the ball at the park like we've seen in the past that he can do is why I'm going to have my boy – Crawford getting some love. So that's my five, and I like mine better than yours, Dave. Allen. He is on a he is on a pace for his best power hitting season yeah. ever. So let's check out who was left. If if those are the ten best shortstops in baseball right now, you guys left 
a guy who won a batting title a year and a half ago up there. Yep. One of the best defensive players in the game, shortstop or otherwise, he's yep. left up there. T.A., man. I'm so, I, I mean, there's a lot. of Last year's AL batting champ left up there. How about yep. kind of Falefa at the top up there as well? Totally underreported. He's a baller. Dansby Swanson was a 1-1. Yes. I mean, we could have we gone Angleton to another. Angleton Simmons may be the best defensive shortstop of them all. Paul DeYoung hits for power. Like, I know I'm missing somebody oh, here. Is this the golden age of the shortstop right now? It is. I mean, as you look across the whole hey, landscape of we got baseball. Glaber. We got Diego Gregorius. You could, you could make that case. Yeah. I mean, we, we've said that in various stages throughout baseball history, especially <clears throat> when Nomar and Alex Rodriguez and Alex Gonzalez, the guys that did the boy band cover with their shirts <laughs> off, like, that was a pretty good group. Yeah. The league-wide, it's amazing how talented this position yeah. is right now. I'm, I'm saying, hey, doing it all, too. They're not just one-dimensional players. Tim Anderson, I, I, I'm going to have I'm gonna have to holler at him. You're going <laughs> to hear, you're gonna hear from him, Yeah, because, I mean, I'm just like, man. Send I, all I, comments I, to at Cliff Lloyd. Can we put those teams up right. one more time? <laughs> John, put those teams up one more time. Because <laughs> who's going to be the final verdict here? Ah oh, man, if if I, <laughs> Cliff, I hate to do it, dude. I think I like Val's team better. I think I like Val's five shortstops better, mm. especially in terms of payroll. I mean, dude, he's already gotten paid. He's gonna make five hundred million. He's gotten paid. <laughs> he's gonna make three hundred million, and so is he. Well, I got room for all the pieces, though. What, you just gave up? That's a whole lot of cheese. You said a billion dollars you just gave up. <laughs> well, you know, it ain't my money. This <laughs> over here, I mean, look at this. He got paid. Yes, he did. He's going to get a little cheese. He bet on himself, right? He got a one-year deal. He said, I'm going to come out and ball, and he's doing it. That, that's, that's, that's pretty good. He has to stay healthy. And then he's about to get some cheese, but he's 35. Yeah. So I'm going to save so, him some so money. I got a chance to get T.A. in there somewhere. 